evening and thank you for tuning in to another week with Fathers Who Care and I need to tell you up front it's been one of those weeks I'm telling you we've been moving and moving and grooving and I'm telling you the body is saying just a little bit longer just a little bit longer we're gonna get some rest this evening but we're gonna keep it pressing and we're gonna keep doing the work that God called us to do hey listen you're watching fathers who care of course I'm your guest host this evening uh, the servant uh, Reverend Walter Jones from fathers who care and of course you know it's always our, our intent here at fathers who care to bring to you the viewing audience individuals uh, who have been vetted individuals who have been committed and individuals who are seasoned to empower the least of them and so with that being said uh, I mean the show is you, you already know how the show works here we, we bring on those we know who are out there laboring for righteousness sake those who are out there doing the work to try to help those who need the most assistance and then those who have just been committed and love what they do and so I, I would be uh, remiss if I didn't just uh, tell my young folks in there uh, Vernicia, Amari, uh, Marshala, Amor, um, Omari, and all of the other young folks who done went back to college. Thank you all for the stuff that you all, all the work that you guys did over the summer. It's been one. I can't wait that I can take a vacation from <laughs> them young people. They worked on a brother me. But anyway, listen, tonight we want to take this show and we want to turn this show uh, a, a little bit in that we want to find out what's going on. Uh, at the Circuit Court of Cook County, what new technologies are going on? I mean, I hear so much about uh, uh, these expungement summits that I'm always hearing about. I want to know, so we want to know tonight uh, what new technologies are going on, uh, how, how things are happening, what's the clerk's budget over there, how's the, how's the Circuit Court of Cook County coming along, mm -hmm. how's everything going over there, but then we want to ask some specific questions, clerk, and I think I have to bring it to you. Uh, you're, you're a parent, right? You're a mother, right? I am a mother, yes. And, and, and I've been heavy-hearted lately. Mm -hmm. I've really been heavy-hearted lately because lately uh, 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 I've been watching this influx of uh, unsolved, unsolved violence in, 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 in communities of color and young people killing young people and, and, and I think something is awry here alright and I just can't put my finger on it but I, I, I the Lord had put a spirit on me to tell me to go out there and do some things to empower parents mm -hmm. so I, I want to bring that to you uh, oh, wow. uh, would that help if if we provided additional outlets and additional support to empower parents mm -hmm. and getting parents more actively involved in and, and educating themselves and, 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 and providing them with resources and outlets to empower them, would that help us to empower their children so that their children won't become victims or perpetrators of violence? But anyway, with that being said, let me introduce the sum and present to others, none other than our clerk uh, uh, of the Cook County Circuit Court, none other than Honorable Clerk uh, uh, Dorothy Brown. Uh, uh, clerk Brown, if you don't mind, I, I like to call you Clerk Brown tonight. That's fine. Uh, Absolutely. And, and I want to first say thank you for coming uh, for coming on the show tonight. You have always been uh, just a beacon of light and always been accessible to the young people that we deal with on the west side of Chicago. And every chance that we get to, to sit down and talk to you, you've always been so open and accessible. And I, and I want to say to you, thank you so much and keep up the good work that you're doing. But I want to take this show as I shared it. In the, uh, in, in the intro, we want to kind of do a little twist with this show. We want to ask you some things about the new technologies at the, you mm -hmm. know, in, 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 at the, uh, the clerk, you know, at the circuit court. Mm -hmm. We want to ask you about the new technology. We want to know that. We want to know what's the budget over there, how things are going over there. But then we want to really get a little deeper here, and we want to turn this, kind of flip the script and go to that parent, that mother side of you. Yes. And we want to ask you, how do you feel about this this influx of violence in the community, and what can we do to empower more parents to be more actively involved in the lives of their children while they have a chance before they become actively involved in burying their children. So with that being said, Clerk, we want to thank you again for coming out, and we want to ask you just a rather simple question. Uh, Clerk, we don't want to know, we know that you are a, a, a seasoned professional, that you are an attorney, that you a CPA. We know that you're the clerk of Cook County. We know that you got all of that pressure on you. God bless you. <laughs> However, we want to know that other side of you, that sulfur side. Who is Dorothy Brown, not Clerk Brown, but who is Dorothy Brown, if you don't mind me, me wow. inquiring. <laughs> well, thank you. You know, I am, 
I have, I'm a person that has a heart for the people. Okay. I have a, I, I grieve for our young people that are killing one another. I grieve for the young person that's actually doing the killing. Right. Young people that are doing the killing because right. they obviously need help. I think that, uh, and, and I'm not sure if you, I'm, you're you aware, but I am running for mayor of the city of Chicago. Mayor. Yes, okay. I am. Okay. I'm running for you mayor of the city of Chicago. You want to talk about that later on? And we can talk about it later okay, on. Okay, but go ahead. Finish and, what you're and, saying. And, 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 but that's one of the things that I have been talking about as uh, a person that's running for mayor, uh, about the need for, we have two things going on here. We have criminal misconduct, we have police misconduct. Okay. We and and a lot of it, especially the criminal misconduct, is a result is res, is re, a result of the lack of investment in our communities. Okay. The lack of investment into the human nature of our children, into lack of investment into the people. Okay. People don't have jobs to be able to take care of their families. Okay. It's economics. A lot of, a lot of it's economics. So you think some people are doing economic to, battles, okay, okay. you know, because of drugs and and things of that nature. Okay. And so, if you, if we have, ha if we gave our children a better education, a, a great education, so that they can not only compete locally, and I don't feel that our children are being educated enough to be, compete locally, but they sh could, should be able to compete globally. Okay. Our children deserve it. Mm -hmm. They're smart. They can do that, but we need to increase the 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 our quality of our ed the educational system. So, we so, need you, so you quality of education, quality of economic education. development, economic Go development, ahead. fair and equitable economic develop economic development throughout fair the and equitable. fair okay. and equitable. Okay, Meaning, I want an meaning? economic development plan that will address each sector of the city. Okay. Every sector, and it will address it based upon the needs for that particular community. Uh, economic development plan should not be geared toward just because a developer decides to build one store, or one one gas station, or one a uh, car wash. It, there should be a plan that is that builds the health and wealth of the entire community. Okay. Every okay. institution, okay. the businesses, the faith-based organizations, the not-for-profits, the hospitals, the the. So that's the sectors you're referring to. I'm saying every. Community when I say sector. I mean no. What I mean by sectors of the city. I oh, mean oh, different. Every oh, okay. area. Gotcha, gotcha. Every area. Geographical so area. Every gotcha, geographical gotcha, gotcha. area of the gotcha. city needs Section. to have a okay. specific economic gotcha. development plan right. and with that Cause, plan because it's different for each diff one right yes. okay okay and it should be informed by the community it should Hold be on. what uh, the community Clark, wants. can we take this call and then uh, you, and they come back and yes. we want to go back to the plan for the different sections sections of this of the of community this commu of, the of, city. of the city yes, yes. Right. come mm -hmm. on i'll call it you and there. come on give me your comment and question for our clerk this evening clerk uh, dorothy brown what's your comment please yes sir pastor and uh miss brown i know you too are already planning a day or a weekend for the great late Aretha Franklin. You know, because she deserves a day or a weekend in every city, every county in the United States. She did more to, uh, to bring people together than anybody that I know of. Okay, I, I like that because last week, uh, and thank you for bringing it up. Can I just say this? Go ahead. Say what you is he, look. He was talking about Aretha Franklin. Right, right. Oh, I can't find that. And so this okay. one here. Mm -hmm. So he he's he's talking about uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the passing of the Queen of Soul. Of course, oh my goodness, Aretha Franklin. Didn't we grow 76. up with Aretha? Oh yes, we did. Absolutely. And we still would grow up with her music. Yes, we uh, will. Uh, unfortunately, yes, she has made her transition uh, uh, last week. Uh, and, and we, we uh, of course, we, we, along with the family, along with others, pray for the family and friends and fans of, of the great You know, Lee, I'm praying Aretha for family. her family, but I'm praying for the world because Aretha touched all of us. Right. She touched everybody in the whole world. Right. So God bless her family. But... Uh, so, but getting but let, back let's to, let's go back then. Let, let's come up to this question. Now, you, you you was talking about uh, uh, making sure that each section in mm -hmm. the city is treated fair and equitable. That's right. So that means some things that may apply for the north side may not apply for the That's west right. side. That's some right. Some things that that are good for the south side may not be good for That's the east right. side. So we or may not be needed for some sides, but yeah. definitely be needed for the others. And so that's why we like would have economic development. Yeah, in exactly. Areas, I would have right. a deputy commissioner for every 
section of I the like city. That. I like that. A deputy and then with the team. Mm -hmm. And that deputy commissioner and his or her team would create an economic development plan based upon input from the community mm -hmm. and based upon the needs for that particular community right. so that we can build the wealth of that community. Now, if we build the health and wealth of a community, then you know what happens there. That means that the tax base increases. Mm -hmm. And so then you have more taxes, and then that starts to help to stabilize the finances of the city. The reason why the finances of the city are not strong is because we have let certain sections of the city to have abandoned homes, abandoned businesses, and there are now, no taxes. Now, now you taxes know you're, you're opening up the door because I definitely want to go there. Absolutely. Because there seems to be like no a, a tsunami that hit the west side. And there are no right? jobs. And no jobs. No jobs, no economic development, no no growth. Young folks have nothing to do. So when young folks have no nothing to do. No recreational So if they have nothing to do. Even in school, they don't have the after school things that we used to have. They don't have the clubs in school. Okay. Forage clubs. So what you recommend? City council. What you recommend? Things Clark? like that. Well, I recommend that we have, like I said, a fair and equitable economic development plan high quality education so that and that all of us all these different institutions I even say the faith-based organization organizations like yours father who cares I'm going to have a technology platform that will help organizations like yours who who your organizations that you you help build the community you help people in the community if I can make sure that you're strong by having a platform that the city maintains to ensure that you know where grant funds are right help you with crowdfunding uh, crowd granting help you make sure that you know where the banks are that will don that will loan to you where donors are where these large foundations everybody on an even playing Absolutely. field. Absolutely, I would have help, a technology plan for them. I would help even help you with pro bono services. Well, you pro bono just legal keep talking that way because I'm still services. filling you. Let's get this caller. Thank you so much. But and I and I think that's right. I think that's the way it should be. Yes, that's absolutely. the way it should be. And I think those who can should call you on there. What's your comment or question for the clerk? Yes, uh, I have a question. Uh, I live on the south side of Chicago, and uh, I am getting so tired of all the young youth standing out on the corner. And not only that. Every 10 blocks, they're putting a darn liquor store in, in the uh, Inglewood neighborhood. Mm. What can you do for that? Now, did you hear him? Yes, yes, Thank yes. you for your call. Absolutely. I want to give those young people something else to do other than standing out on the corner. Yeah, corner. loitering. Have activities <laughs> yeah. for them. Those, That's what you're talking those about. Those youth also that are already out of school, they need to be able to have job training. Have, have so that they can go and get jobs or or they may be out of school but they shouldn't be out of school they didn't finish their education well have night school my parents went to night school mm -hmm. at my elementary school have some kind of vocational training to help to help them get off the street have programs and then as far as the liquor stores well my economic development plan would ensure that we have various uh, key strong businesses within the particular community, not just liquor stores. I mean, there are there do, is do, there, do, do liquor stores have be, their place. Do you, yeah, they do have their place. They have their place, and, 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 and their place should not be you know but there allowing be. folks to loiter in front of them, right? Oh, absolutely. But and, and I think people loiter not just in front of liquor stores, but they loiter in different, just different places so, because they loiter because they don't have anything else to do. So, so you're saying you would create. Uh, an environment and uh, that that where need is, you will bring the need. Yes, uh, you bring, bring resources the to the resources needs. to the need. Right, community okay. health and wealth. I like that, and, and you know that's that's another issue I think we're facing in the community, clerk, uh -huh. is that you know so many of us uh, have become desensitized uh -huh. about this influx in violence in our community that we are literally some of us are literally traumatized, uh -huh. and I say that with with with, with also what I want to bring justice uh -huh. for justice. For for Thana, uh, uh, eighty one uh, eighty one year old sister mm. that was brutally murdered out south, there's oh a reward. Goodness. And then for fifteen, fourteen, fifteen year old Nuni, uh, on the west side, the one that was threw in the garbage can and burned alive. Oh my goodness! You know, there's a reward for these two individuals. So give us a call and we will give you the information where folks do have a reward for the uh, uh, for the capture of those individuals responsible for these two. Uh, mm -hmm. senseless acts of violence in our community. Mm -hmm. And also Friday night, which is tomorrow, you can meet us on Madison and Kildare, where we'll be doing an event in the community. We call it the Light in the Night, where we go to a hot spot in the community mm -hmm. and we bring love. We play music, we cook outside, uh, we, we have different activities going on.
on that's tomorrow on Madison and Kildare. Be there, don't be square. Now, clerk, <laughs> tell us about what 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 is the duties of the clerk of Cook mm -hmm. County, and what does your office do for you the know, community? <laughs> uh, and I apologize. Can I get this call in? Then you Absolutely. come back. Absolutely. Call it. You you call it. You're coming to question. Hello. What? What are the most challenging things as a clerk of the court? The most well, challenging things. With, with what we're talking about. Now. Absolutely. Yeah, most, <laughs> the most challenging things of the clerk of the court uh, would be um, probably trying to deal with all of the different things that the customers have. A lot of times the customers feel that I am the court. Uh, that even though I'm I'm the official record keeper, and I just keep the records. They feel that I'm responsible for the records. I just had a meeting with the customer today for two hours, mm -hmm. dealing with their particular case to try to explain to them that we don't make the record. We are just responsible for keeping the record. But I try to many, give everyone their respect. Have? I have uh, well, I used to have 2,300. We're down to about 1,400 now. 1,400 employees yes, with, yes, with a budget yes. of what? With a budget of over $100 million. $100 million. Which, and I've been running that budget for over $100 million for almost 18 years. That's one of the reasons why. 18 uh, years. But That's one of the reasons why I made the decision to, to run for mayor because of my experience, my I'm a proven leader with a proven track record of successfully leading a multi-million dollar organization. I was one, however, even with the, where the city of Chicago is concerned, I was one of only two senior managers that managed the audit, the oversight of the entire city of Chicago several years ago. So do this, Sam. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you was talking a little bit about mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the duties of the clerk, if you mm -hmm. want to respond back to that. Yes. You can tell us, and also tell us what does, what does the circuit court, what is the circuit court of Cook County, and what technologies or services does it bring oh, to the absolutely. people? Oh, absolutely. Well, uh, the, the duties of the clerk of the circuit court is to officially keep the records of the Cook County court system. It's a consolidated court system, okay. so I'm responsible for all court records, criminal, civil, uh, domestic relations, juvenile records. I have all of the court files. If you want to sue someone, I have that file. You create a file, and I maintain that file. I maintain it electronically, and sometimes I maintain it in paper as well. Um, then I collect all bail bond money. I collect all fees and fines. We collect almost $300 million a year and forward that money to 900 different agencies within the state of Illinois. Oh, okay. And so, um, so we are, and the technologies that we have in our office are, we, we were just recently, we kicked off the mandatory electronic filing. Mandatory it was electronic. Mandatory, yes. Mandatory electronic, electronic filing. filing. You don't have to explain it that. It is to mandatory us. that if you want to file with the court system, file what? File a court case. You want okay. to sue somebody. Okay. Or if someone's suing you and you have to respond, you have to do it on the computer now. So you have to go Can't online. Can't bring paper. Right. You okay. can do it from your home or you can come down to the office and my staff will help you. Um, and, you know, uh, today the Chicago Tribune had some kind of little negative article surrounding what we've done with the mandatory electronic filing. Well, we have we work with the vendor that the Illinois Supreme Court gave us. And that vendor, I had my own vendor and really wanted to utilize that vendor going forward. But they decided that they would hire a vendor, uh, which I respect them very much, to do, um, to do this online To do thing. the electronic filing, electronic and filing. we've been working with the, so, this vendor to make that their system work. So I guess, but I guess. And I believe that we're getting there. I, 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 and I think you, you, I'm sure you will take care of that. Oh, absolutely. Let's go back to this mandatory online, mandatory electronic, electronic filing. filing. Yes. So that means if someone wanted to f file a case. Uh-huh. And, and petition a case in front of judge or something. Judge, yes. They can't do a hard copy, they, you know, like no. write some stuff up. The only way they can do that is if, um, as if they cannot, um, don't have any access to the computer, they even handicap or something, they can't use the computer, they otherwise they have to um, scan it in, or you can create it online. You know, you create your Word document so and upload it. So it has to be electronic, it. even it though, even electronic. though you handwrite it. It's you can still handwrite it, and you still has to okay. upload it electronically. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so it's and that's mandatory now. Mandatory. So that means all, all, all cases, all required. files have to be online now. Yes. Okay. Well, with that said, now let me ask this: Why are you so passionate 
and, and, and the work that you're doing, I, I think you, uh, 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 from what I've been seeing, mm -hmm. you've been in office, how many, you say 18 years? 18 years. So obviously you love what you do. Yes. So why? Why are you so passionate about serving the people of Chicago? Why? Of Cook County, why? It was born in me. It was born in me. I've always had a heart for the people. When I was a young woman, when I was a young girl, I used to help my, those that were younger than me. Okay. Uh, and I made the decision to run for office in the first place because I realized that I love helping people and I had a gift, uh, an ability that I needed to give to more people. Okay. And I have a burden for our young people a burden, right now. A burden. A yoke, A huh? burden. <laughs> a yoke. Yes. Yes, Girl, I'm listening. Yes, I'm yes, listening. Yes. And, I, and it, I believe that. It hurts that. me inside. But why? Uh, it's just because I want to see change. I just okay. believe in them. I okay. believe that they can, that okay. they will do better if we help them do better. Right, right. We ought to always be lift, reaching back and helping. Okay. I got that. Uh, 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 rising tide lifts all boats. Okay. That's what uh, Kennedy said, that, which means that as you rise, you others should, should, lift, rise, others should yeah, rise with yeah. you. Well, let me ask you, let, 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 let me come to this thought. This thought. And, I, and I told you I had to come here, mm -hmm. so here I go. A as a parent, Mm -hmm. Why is there, what, 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 in your mind, uh -huh. what can we do to engage and empower more parents or more parental involvement uh -huh. from parents? Uh -huh. Well, there needs to be a concerted effort, probably within the school, <clears throat> to get parents involved. We, we, we need to, to have different programs to bring parents into the schools. Okay. Some, our parents went through these same public schools mm -hmm. and they're hurting themselves they're at home hurting they don't necessarily know how to do certain things okay. so we have to uh, look at some of the other school systems around the country who've been successful in getting parents involved and and use some of those programs have some kind of benefits for the parents to want to come and 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 work with their children and train them to work with their children. Do you think and there's so, a lack of a lack of parental involvement? That's why we have this influx of violence in our community. Lack of parental involvement with their children. With their children. Probably with even with helping their children in the school, helping their children with their homework, helping their children, teaching their children. See, parents. <laughs> parents, some parents don't even know what to teach their children. Or where their children are. They don't know where their children are, but they don't even know what to teach their okay. children. They weren't taught, were okay. not taught. Okay. So you can't just blame the parents. This is a ripple effect. This has occurred over the years. So we have to stop this circle. Mm -hmm. We have to stop this vicious circle and start somewhere to help the generations to come. So, and, and then help those generations that are here, but also help those generations to come. So you think it would be wise for us to empower, to bring additional resources and support to empower to or to complement and, and assist parents mm -hmm. and not put parents down so they can assist that's and right. help their children to that's be better right. children. That's right. No exactly. pointing at the fingers. That's right. And being able to it's communicate. It's not us against them. It's not us against you. Mm -hmm. Come on, caller, you on there. What you got for the, for the clerk here? Yes, hi, this is Nadine Griffin again, and I'm calling because Dorothy Brown and my cousin are very close friends, Richard Barnett. That was my grandmother's oldest brother's son. Richard came... You're talking about the legendary Richard the Barnett? The legendary, yes. He came from a big family, and we all helped the parents as well as the children, and we have separated this even when they took, took, took out the, the schools. The way that they've done the school, when they eliminated PTA, that was the worst thing we could have had. This thing that we're seeing with our school sinking began with Ben Willis. And we got to put a stop to it with the two of you all sitting there and the kids on the west side, the best side. We are going to be able to conquer all of this. Ms. Griffin, before you go, and thank you so much for your faithfulness and your consistency in always inspiring these young people over here. Even though we know you got other things you could be doing, you are always faithful, inspiring these young folks on the west side and always giving me a, a, just a place in your heart, and I love you. Uh, but tell us, do you, have a, do you have a question for the clerk tonight? Okay, I want to know from, from her, because when I worked for the health department over at the Providence, Old Providence Hospital, she was really getting her start. I'm the young lady that was receiving an award at the Providence Hospital when you came there with the cameras, remember? Oh, wow. 
Okay, okay. Very and, good. And I'm so glad that you are still a fighter and continue to fight. I now, will. Thank you so much. Thank you. you want to respond back to me? Oh, wow. Wow. It's, it's wonderful. She remembers you from all of you? <laughs> That's wonderful. You know what? And, and she can tell you I've always been consistent. I'm the same person from the beginning to the end. I don't care how they try to say who I am or make me into some body else I have the highest of integrity have worked hard and will continue to work hard so are there any other uh, new initiatives have my vote. thank you <laughs> thank, thank you so much miss Griffin thank you miss thank you so very much uh -huh. uh, are there any other activities and or technology or services about the, oh, your office that I'm you going to be implementing a new brand new case management system case management. Uh, it's uh, the state-of-the-art uh, first one in probably 20 30 years and um, uh, that will be implemented by next August. Of course, I'll be gone by May because I'll be sworn in as mayor the third Monday in um, <laughs> third Monday in May. Okay. But so you'll be gone. Now I'll be gone, but I'm going to have it in place yeah. where where it cannot fail yeah. uh, as I'm moving on. And I'm going to make sure that the expungement summit is in place for the first we, Saturday we, we, in June. We, we, we got to talk about that right quick before that time hit us. Mm -hmm. So what is this expungement summit? I think you got how many, about 18, 15, 14 years or something going oh, on Oh, yeah, that? 14 years. And 14 years. Help people get a second chance. But you don't have to wait for the expungement summit. All you, you can come to the clerk of the court, any of our offices, whichever office you had your case at, you should go there. If it's in Chicago, you should go to downtown at 10, room 1006 in the Daily Center or over at 26 in California and file your expungement or sealing petition or go out to the... Expungement so, and or sealing. And or, or okay. sealing. Okay. And uh, the laws have changed. You need to look it up. Just about everything except for four felony convictions can be sealed now. And sealing means that you can say, I've never been arrested, I've never been convicted of a and crime. And can't go in it. Same thing as sealing and expungement in both cases. Listen, you've been watching Fathers Who Can. Of course, I guess this evening is none other than our clerk of the, of the Cook County Circuit Court. Honorable Dorothy Brown. So listen, we want you all to continue to keep in touch and continue to be a blessing to each other. Continue to love each other. Be supportive of each other. And continue to do your due diligence and go out there and register to vote. Vote your consciousness. Vote for righteousness sake. Vote to save our children and our community. Listen, we love you. God love you. Amen. And we want you to do the best you can to be the best that you can. And with that, we thank you so much, clerk. Thank and you And we so thank much. you all so much for tuning in. Tune in next week. We'll be seeing you again. Remember tomorrow, Madison and Kildare. Be there or be square and we'll see you wouldn't want to be you Dorothy Good from Mayor.com oh, say it again <laughs> Dorothy from Mayor.com well you heard it here first all right <laughs> good night and thank you <laughs>